All right, I'm going to show you how to do a purchase order for a store. So we'll hit purchase request and then enter. And then I'm going to hit auto assign, but I could also enter a purchase order number if I want. Okay. I can copy a PO as well. We'll go ahead and enter the vendor number, choose Joyful Gardens. Okay. Next step is going through and uh, picking the store that I'm going to buy for, checking out my shipping information. So I'll pick my store. Okay. And then the next is my order details. So I can have a cancel date, delivery date, ship code, etc. So now I'll go ahead and buy some items. So I can do an item lookup or I can scan an item. Okay, so we'll buy this uh, item here. And it happens to be a gridded item. So it's going to ask me to populate the quantity based on grids. So I'll go ahead and choose the same quantity for each of them. Okay, I'll hit OK. And that'll consolidate my lines into one, allow me to adjust prices as needed. And then I'll go ahead and choose another item. This one doesn't happen to have a vendor, but that's okay. Add my quantity, adjust prices. And then the next step is going to my auto calculator. So this is my purchasing calculator. It's going to allow me to calculate what I need to buy for this vendor from this vendor based on replenishment, days of supply, or customer only orders. But we're going to do the first option, which is maximum. So this is looking at my mins and maxes and it's suggesting what quantity I should buy based on bringing my minimums up to maximum. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. It will present me with some options so I can choose a couple here, add those lines to my purchase order. And there you go, it's added to my PO. And then the next step is just posting my purchase order. I'm sure I wanna post, yes. Do I wanna see the purchase journal? Sure. Okay, so there's my purchase journal. And these are my purchase order forms. And that's what a gridded item looks like on my forms. Okay, I can email these forms as well. And that's, and that's it.